Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Oblivion Class Restoration Project, where we punch people in the face for not going to church every Sunday. <laughs> no, no, we don't, but, but this guy would. This is the monk. Technically, you can reflavor him to whatever you want, but in my case, it's an actual monk who swore to never use a weapon. And then he found a loophole in that vow very, very swiftly. Outwardly, he worships the eight, uh, secretly Azura, because she is the one good Daedra in his mind and she gives some very cool boons. Gameplay wise the build is about punching and sneaking as well as sneaking and punching. We have three different power attack enhancing spells stored in Okato's recital so that's basically the build done. The end. Clap. I promised myself to not use Okato's recital anymore, but I treat my promises the same way this guy treats his vows. Combining all the explosive potential of Blazing Hands, Stave of Ferocity and Orc Strength spells with the unarmed perks from Vokri creates something of a killing machine and also allows play a monk who is not a Khajiit. I mean, every single monk I've ever seen is a Khajiit, and it's enough of that, so this is not a Khajiit. There is quite a few mods involved, here is uh, the list. We need three different spell modes, Triumvirate, Odin and Apocalypse, which is funny because as soon as you get your Okatos recital you can forget about spellcasting altogether, except maybe occasional use of resist elements. Summer Mist is crucial, our gear is almost entirely Summer Mist based. Winter Sun I guess could be skipped, it doesn't change that much, but it helps against enemies resistant to magic and it gives you a way to paralyze weakened opponents without any spell casting. suits the playstyle very well. And for the first time ever we have classic classes and birth signs, allowing us to choose the actual monk class mainly for the armor rating bonus when not wearing any armor. For the looks I used common clothes and armors and capes and cloaks. I missed the ragged inconspicuous looks you can achieve with these. For the race I opted for Morningstar Nord because less stagger is nice against two-handed weapons. Obviously for optimal builds you could go Breton to make a synergy with alteration or Khajiit to be boring about it. The Lord Stone, slightly improved by Evenstar, is a good choice regardless of race right off the bat after selecting the class and the star sign we will have 125 armor rating which makes a noticeable difference then with a few perks in alteration you will get up to 450 uh, that's rather beefy for an unarmored build we're beefing I'm a beef. For the attributes we have two points of health per one of stamina, although up to level 20, say 20, yeah, probably 20, you should probably go 50-50. High stamina will increase our damage, stamina total that is, which means alter self alteration perk and stamina enchantments will be increasing our damage output. As mentioned, for the deity I rolled with Azura, she reduces magic resistance of your enemies and we create three magic effects with each power punch. She also grants us the power to paralyze enemies at 35% health or lower. Since our combat style involves a lot of staggering, disarming and evasion, this will be one of many tools of crowd control. We only need four skills and two of them are rather lightly perked. This build is also amazingly efficient, uh, can be completed before level 40. It's nuts! First, alteration, our main defense. Take all the ranks of magic resistance and mage armor and on the right go all the way up to Hethot's escape. It will give you yet another way to paralyze your enemies without spending any magicka. Also both ranks of alter self, one to increase stamina which will improve our power attacks damage and the other to get frost resistance which will protect our stamina and poison resistance which will kind of also protect our stamina at least against a certain uh, potions. Okato's preparation will make armor spells free and uh, stability will increase the duration of most of our spells. In the sneak take the left branch all the way up to Shadow Warrior OP alert and the right branch up to Escape Artist also 
OP alert actually. This remarkable set of perks allows you to fight on your terms uh, always. Whenever something goes wrong, and it rarely does, but when it does, you can just re-enter sneak mode and the combat will end. This has a funny synergy with Okato's recital since you will be refreshing all your prepared spells with each time you re-enter combat after successfully leaving combat with escape artist. It means you don't really need to worry about spell duration. I did worry about it just in case, but you could be even more efficient and drop st the stability perk and amplify alteration enchantment if you have some other ideas for these. In light armor take all the unarmed combat perks on the left, obviously. It's advisable to take your first rank of Iron Fist at the first opportunity, because with this perk you can level up the skill when punching stuff. Luckily, Nords get racial bonus to light armor, so you should be able to take the perk as soon as level 3 is reached. Every rank of Iron Fist will give you a damage boost derived from your current stamina. If you struggle to find the items I will talk about in a minute, try at least fortifying stamina with potions. A few unnecessary perks in lockpicking were also taken, <laughs> mainly because Oblivion Monks had the security skill for some reason. I went for the Dungeon Master to dispatch my enemies in a clever and funny way of luring them into traps. With the light foot perk in Sneak, it means easy and stress-free dungeoneering, even on Legendary and no armor. Kinda worth it in the end. For the gear we have everything handcrafted, enchanted mostly with effects that are not affected by your skill level, meaning you don't need to worry about leveling it up, nor about the proficiency of your honed metal enchanting services. We need Amplify Alteration on the robes, Grit on the necklace, Link Health and Stamina on the ring, Rollback on the boots, Siphon Stamina on the gloves and uh, Force on a cape. A few things of note, yes, I am using an additional slot for the Force enchantment, sue me. Force stacks remarkably well with the flurry of blows perk, meaning most of the enemies in one-on-one -on -one combat will be stun-locked and unable to counterattack most of the time. Grit is absolutely necessary, it allows you to power attack without stamina, and all our spell effects are triggered with power attacks. This in turn means you don't need to worry about stamina regeneration as much as you otherwise would. Rollback will allow you to escape sticky situations, you are generally a master at that stuff. With Escape Artist Perk, Rollback means you can easily reposition when surrounded and hide immediately. Then you can re-enter combat on your terms, often refreshing all your spells. Speaking of spells, here is the list. Uh, most importantly, you need to put Stave of Ferocity, Blazing Strikes and Orc Strength in Okato's Recital ASAP. This combo means you will reduce armor and magic resistance, deal 55 fire damage, which stacks with the elemental damage of the Key Strike perk, and have a chance to throw people around with each power attack. With your stamina-derived damage bonus, stagger chance, disarm chance and your monk class bonus, you will have quite a lot of fun with each punch. It scares me to think what could be achieved with fully perked enchanting and uh, Akhajit, perhaps? Just saying, hmm, maybe some distraction buffs? And some shouts with the speech perks of the, the shout increases. Okay, okay, okay. That's 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 for another build. I'm excited to show this. Okay. Detection spells will be quite useful early to mid game when you will need to be more careful. Knowing how many enemies are ahead can be quite beneficial. Resist elements will be important for warlock infested dungeons, especially when the warlocks are not using frost. And that is basically it. The monk is speed. The monk is smart and the monk is exploding punches. I love the combination of tactics and sheer power that you can achieve here, and the perk efficiency of this build is just <laughs> so tasty. I definitely need to make something like this, but with crafting maybe some distraction... Okay, stop that belly, that's for another build. <laughs> for now, dear viewers, like, subscribe, share, write a letter to Susan telling her she needs to promote me, and have fun with this one. We shall see each other again. Uh, bye, bye, bye.
if you like that video, you're gonna love the next one. I hated that. Video. Well, then you're gonna love the next Shh, one. Calm down, okay?